dear students welcome to homeopathic pharmacy academy today we are going to discuss about origin and sources of homeopathic drugs So today's topic is origin and sources of homeopathic drugs. So in this, uh, we are discussing about the sources of homeopathic drugs. Remember, homeopathic drugs are taken from and how it is prepared. We all know diseases were born with man and drug came into existence since very early period to remove the pain of the diseases and cure them. So diseases are there from the day unknown onwards. So our nature has kept the means of cure of this disease with herself. So drugs used in medicine today are either obtained from nature or are from synthetic origin. So most of the medicines or drugs used in homeopathy are taken from nature itself. So that is why homeopathic drugs are also called as natural medicines. Now let us see what are the sources of homeopathic drug. The sources of homeopathic drugs are from vegetable kingdom, animal kingdom, Mineral Kingdom, Sarpots, Nosots, Imponderabilia, Tortopathic Sources, Allersorts, and Isorts. So these are the various sources from which the homeopathic drugs are prepared from. Now let us see a glimpses on how these medicines are taken from various sources. Now let us see the introduction to vegetable kingdom. So vegetable kingdom that is from the plant sources, the herbal medicines. And this is a, one of the largest source of homeopathic medicines. And in, in this source, the vegetable source, we are using either whole plant or its various parts like uh, leaves, flowers, or uh, stem, bark of stem, or a uh, uh, root, bark of root, juices, etc. So these are the various parts which is used uh, in vegetable kingdom. It is used as a natural form without extracting their individual constituents. So another difference between uh, conventional medicine where they are also using medicine taken from uh, vegetable sources but mostly the extract of individual constituents like uh, alkaloids or glycosides, saponin, tannin, etc. But in homeopathy and in Ayurveda they are using in natural form without extracting their individual constituents. So that is a difference in uh, using the vegetable source in conventional medicine as well as in, in uh, alternative and complementary medicines, including homeopathy also. Now let us see the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom, we are making medicines from living or dried animals, 
their parts secretions and extract so sometimes the whole living animal is used it will be triturated grinded to grow milk or sometimes uh, dried animals especially in the lower group or sometimes their parts are used sometimes the secretions or extracts are used so these are all comes under animal kingdom it also includes the snake venoms which which is classified under ophidia or ophiotoxins so that is also included in uh, animal kingdom in in ophidia group or of ophio ophiotoxins the snake venoms are used to prepare uh, drugs and in animal kingdom another uh, source of uh, preparing medicines are milk and milk product which is termed under lax so that is also one of the source of uh, preparing drugs in homeopathy now the next source of homeopathic drugs are mineral kingdom so mineral kingdom also contains lot of drugs which is taken from uh, uh, elements compounds natural uh, minerals or mineral springs etc and it also contains uh, uh, the medicine prepared from organic and inorganic acids so that is one of the source of homeopathic drugs next source is very unique to homeopathy that is uh, sarcodes so here the word sarcode means fleshy word the word sarcode is a greek word which means fleshy in english so as you know sarcodes are the preparations of physiological secretions rather it is a, a normal secretions and healthy tissues and it also include the secretion from endocrine and exocrine glands even from the hormones so one thing to remember in sarcode is it is it is a normal secretion normal physiological secretion or healthy uh, secretions or tissues or any any drug prepared from uh, endocrine uh, or exocrine glands or hormones the next important unique source of homeopathic drug is nosodes so nosodes as in the case of sarcode it is also uh, originate from the word a greek word called nosos which means disease and sidos means appearance so unlike sarcode nosodes are preparations of uh, drugs from diseased tissues and clinical materials like discharges or uh, excretion diseased excretions or secretions like uh, a pus or any type of uh, a diseased product like uh, sputum or any type of uh, secretions from diseased organs so these are all classified under nosodes whereas sarcode is a healthy secretions and healthy parts of the body and nosodes is the diseased one diseased secretions diseased excretions and diseased parts of the body now let us see another unique source of homeopathic drug is imponderablia imponderablia also uh, is originated from the word imponderable that means not payable not payable and this is a unique source of homeopathic drug which was introduced by Sa dr samuel hanman himself and imponderablia means the immaterial dynamic energies that are used as potentized homeopathic medicines so the information on imponderablia are given in for some 286 in sixth edition of Arnon by dr samuel hanuman and he he could prepare the medicine from uh, the natural sources energy sources and you all know sun is a very important source of energy moon is also a source of energy then the static electricity the thunder the magnet these are all one or other form of energy where we can prepare uh, the drugs homeopathic drugs which uh, which can these energies can be trapped into uh, the non medicinal substances and it can be converted into uh, the powerful homeopathic drug that was a concept of hanuman while he introduced the imponderable sources into homeopathy now another source is totopathy or synthetic sources so in these sources the compounds synthesized that have found a place in 
allopathy or modern medicine that are patentized proved on healthy provers and administered on similia principle so one thing to understand is it is not to use the conventional medicine or modern medicine as homeopathic drug but this homeopathic source is indicated when there is a, a adverse drug reactions of such drugs in modern medicines to nullify the effect of the, such uh, the adverse drug reactions of such drugs we can uh, prepare a medicine from the same drug and it should be patentized it should be diluted it should be dynamized and it should be administered on the basis of similia principle so the law of similia is applicable in this totopathic sources and very important these are not used in the form as a modern medicine that is very very important and another sources of homeopathic drugs are other sorts and isots here other sorts means homeopathic attenuation of antigens so these antigens are as you know it can induce a allergic reactions like or antigen antibody reactions that is a substance which stimulate the formation of antibodies so the examples i can say is uh, the pollen grains then uh, the itch meat or any substances which can cause allergy animal dandruff all these things can uh, induce allergic reactions and suppose if a particular substance induces any type of allergic complaints allergic diseases such allergens or such antigens can be diluted potentized or dynamized and can be given to alleviate or to uh, nullify the effect of allergy so that is a concept of introducing aller sorts in homeopathy now another source is isots isots are prepared from plant animal or chemical substances including drug excipients or binders which have been ingested or otherwise absorbed by the body and are believed to have produced the disease or disorder which interferes with homeostasis this is also known as detoxins so what is isots then isots are non pharmacological substances which is added to increase the bulk of the drug in conventional medicines for example in a tablet it is not that it only contains medicine it also contains certain other non pharmacological substances like magnesium stearate starch etc to increase the bulk of the uh, tablet or to uh, make the preparation of tablet very easily so such substances such non pharmacological substances which are added to increase the bulk of the the dosage form sometimes these excipients or binders can produce some or other means of diseases or symptoms in that cases we can prepare medicine from such excipients or non pharmacological substances which are taken from plant animal or chemical substances or chemical origin and if you prepare the medicine from such excipients or binders then it is called as isots and this is a, a end of introduction to the sources the origin and sources of homeopathic drugs now in next class we'll discuss more about vegetable kingdom